Hello there, this is Kevin Davis from Social Traffic Lab, and I wanted to share with you something tonight that's not really specifically related to social media. However, um, it is still very important for social media campaigns. We use this within our social media campaigns as well. However, where it's really important is any website traffic you're getting. If you don't know what is happening to that traffic, whether or not it's converting or not, then you are actually missing out on a lot of uh, valuable information that can really impact your business. So what we're looking at right now is, is Google Analytics. Um, so if you have an AdWords account, or you, I believe you can still get into it outside of AdWords, um, but in our case, we're, we're running Google AdWords. So by logging into Google AdWords under Tools and Analysis, you'll also find the... Uh, Google Analytics, so you can choose that, and then that will take you to your accounts, and you can choose the account that you want to work with. I've already selected that, um, so we'll just get into um, talking more about conversions and, and tracking. So what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at the overview for goals. So I actually set up a goal for, in this case, the order funnel for this website. It's an e-commerce site, so it goes from uh, a list of products and going by categories and subcategories and, and then they eventually select a product and add that product to a cart. Um, once they add it to the cart, then there's several other uh, steps that they need to go through in order to check out. So uh, this order funnel goal that I've set up actually takes them through each of those steps of adding it to the cart, um, reviewing the purchase, selecting the shipping information, and then finally checking out with payment. Um, so I'm not going to actually go into uh, about setting up goals, uh, but I am going to just have a quick look at some of the information that we can find here. And if I scroll down, I can then see uh, that we had 119 order funnel completions, uh, which resulted in $2,380, and our conversion rate. So our conversion rate is only 1.5%, so that means a huge amount of our traffic is not actually completing goals. Um, so they might be, in this case, they might be just looking at the product page itself. They may not be clicking to add the product to the cart. Um, or they could be abandoning it. They could be uh, maybe just adding it to the cart to see what the price is, just total up the different things that they want, and then they decide that it's not, uh, it's more than they want to spend, so then they leave it. Or it could be that they're just creating maybe a wish list of what they want um, in the future. And we can see that I just modified this goal funnel. Um, it was calculating based on this 1.5%, so it did say 98.48%. Uh, it, it now says 75.91% because we've added a step into the funnel and that actually tracked uh, where they went from a product page to redirecting to the cart now onto the add to cart page and, and things like that. So I found that looking at this analytics, I had a step in that funnel missing, and I've changed that tonight. And so that's kind of skewing these this reporting. But but uh, this uh, conversion rate here is accurate up to this point uh, of one and a half percent. The interesting part now, if I wanted to see, um, and actually let me resize this window a little bit so you can see it better. If I wanted to see the source of median, I could actually see what uh, percent of my order funnel was completed based on the traffic source. So we can see that Google uh, cost per click, this is Google AdWords, that has the highest rate of completion. That is our primary um, source for uh, revenue as well, possibly revenue. We'll actually get into that in a bit as far as these are just completions. It doesn't tell us how much the revenue actually came in from those completions, but we can now see that as well. Next is organic and then direct traffic. Direct traffic is usually people coming back to the site and then checking out. And then the next one is a referral from the site itself um, and then a referral back from the cart. And then we have some organic traffic from Bing and AOL, and that really isn't you know, uh, substantial traffic. There's only three... Only five conversions between the two, two and a half uh, percent conversion from um, Bing. If I wanted to look at the actual visualization of the funnel, um, 
the step that we added to the funnel is the cart redirect because we saw that uh, this was the start. The product detail page was the start and we weren't seeing traffic come into that. We were seeing traffic, all this traffic coming into it and leaving. Um, so we will actually probably remove this step and just start on the cart redirect where it's actually where they're pressing the button to add to the cart. We can see from um, pressing that button, then uh, almost 14% then proceeded to the cart, um, back to the cart to start the checkout process, and then 78.5%, almost 78.5%, then uh, went to shipping. And we did have some people that went back to the site, and then uh, we had one person come directly to the shipping page. The way our checkout process works, it actually uh, brings them back um, to wherever they left off in the checkout process. And then once they got into the shipping, they were now in the checkout mode, and 100% of them went to review the order. And then, uh, and then we did have some abandonment. So when they actually reviewed the order, we did have some people drop back to shipping or drop back to payment or back to the site itself or just completely exit and go to another page. We even had someone that it looks like they probably went to the contact page because they had a question about one of the products or the shipping or different things like that. Um, we do have some shipping discounts based on what they bought. Um, they may have some uh, questions as far as what the terms are on that. And then we have the actual payment. And so under the changed uh, order funnel, it actually gives us a 24% uh, funnel conversion rate instead of the 1.5% that we were seeing before. Um, and that's because you see a lot of traffic coming into this product detail page as they're browsing products. So um, we've actually removed that uh, from the step because what we're interested in this order funnel is specifically in the funnel and where they're dropping out. And we can see that between the entrance pages and the exit pages. The next thing I want to share with you is actually the e-commerce tracking. So if we look at... Um, if we look at this, we can actually see, actually let's do this. Um, right now we're looking at daily. Um, actually we can, we can look at it by daily or weekly. Um, daily is probably the best on this one. We'll go actually now, just see. There's an interesting, okay, I was on this graph. You can actually look at hourly data. So what's interesting here is we can see these peaks we can see that it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock in the morning was the highest number there. We see this peak on this week. We can see that was 2 in the afternoon, so that doesn't correlate. But if we look at this uh, next peak with three orders, that was also at 10 o'clock in the morning. So on uh, December 5th, we had three orders at 10 o'clock in the morning. And December 15th, we had three orders at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we had another three hours at 8 o'clock in the morning that, that day. So we can start to see a pattern. Maybe they're actually uh, shopping at work um, or they're, they're shopping in the morning. That's when we're seeing more orders come in. We can actually analyze this data more and probably extrapolate as far as traffic patterns as far as time. And then we could change our ad campaign within AdWords um, to reflect those time slots as well. So now we'll get into e-commerce overview. And we can see our 1.54% our uh, conversion rate. There's 120 transactions with $5,372.75 in revenue. Now with the e-commerce tracking, we know what the average value is. So we know what we can spend <coughs> based on our margin to acquire a customer. So we can take this number, uh, subtract our margin, and then that's what we can actually spend um, on acquiring a new customer. There was 286 unique purchases and 452 products were ordered. We can then see the different products that were ordered as well. And we can also then look at source median. Um, so we can see that direct traffic was actually the predominant uh, force of our revenue with 27.29%. Uh, Google cost per click, Google organic, and then just the referral to the site. And uh, we can see that 
you know, the smaller traffic sources of Bing, AOL, and Yahoo didn't have a lot of revenue in it. And if we um, wanted to look at product performance, we can see our top products. So um, we can then sort it by product revenue. We can see that the, um, uh, the which products are actually the best performers. Uh, of course, a 50-sheet pack versus a 25-sheet pack um, improves that as well. And we can see the average price, the average quantity. More data that helps us analyze um, the actual performance of our ads and traffic. We can also see the transactions. Uh, we can see what the total revenue was for each of the different transactions that came through. Um, and the quantity of products bought, and as well as the shipping information in that as well. So these are a number of things that you can track for conversions. Um, you know, conversions are, you know, a huge indicator as far as how well uh, your traffic source is doing. If you're not measuring uh, the performance of your traffic, you're really marketing blindly. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually doing a lot more videos on Google Analytics as we're improving our analytics reporting um, with different sites that we're working with. In January of 2012, I'm actually going to be releasing a new uh, training with Social Traffic Lab for Google Analytics and uh, tracking social media campaigns as well as tracking regular campaigns and paid traffic, um, a holistic approach to Google Analytics. And if you want to get that course, one of the easy ways to get on to, um, to actually get that course kind of for free, less than $10, um, is to actually buy the product that's listed down below from Noah Hammond. Um, if you buy this product, um, which is called Conversion Jiu-Jitsu, you'll actually then send an email to our support desk. The email is below as well. And I'll actually include my Google Analytics course um, when it comes out in January. I'll email that to you and that's a way for you to actually get the Google Analytics course for buying this other product. It's our way of rewarding it. We really like this product. Uh, we've gone through it and it, it covers, you know, this is very much technical detail stuff. Um, Noah actually went through a, a ton of training and condensed that down into a set of videos, of PDFs and mind maps that really helps you you know, really um, improve your site performance as well as uh, your connection with your website visitors as well and your customers. So um, if you're interested in that, go ahead and click the link below. That'll uh, take you over to PayPal to check out, get Noah's course, and then uh, send an email to our support desk at support at socialtrafficlab.com along with your receipt from purchasing Noah's product, and we will add you to the list to get the uh, new analytics course in January when it comes out. Thanks a lot. This is Kevin Davis from Social Traffic Lab, and don't forget to click the link and get the course. Thanks.